two attributes that an Atmos clock must have to keep very accurate time is high amplitude and it must be in beat. First, we need to determine how many motifs are on this 360 degree balance so we can calculate our amplitude. We're going to skip that one. We're going to count this as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and that's twelve. So we have motifs that are thirty degrees apart. All right. Not every motif on an Atmos clock is going to be 30 degrees apart. They vary. That's why you need to count them. Okay, now we are going to check amplitude. So we're going to skip this one. This is going to be first motif. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17 motifs. Okay, 17 motifs times 30 gives us 510 degrees. An Atmos clock needs to operate at least 360 degree amplitude to keep good time. This is a 540 movement. These generally don't operate any higher than 510 degrees after an overhaul, and this is a very accurate clock. I think I'm keeping about plus minus two seconds a day. But we also want to measure beat error. Beat error is we want to make sure that the same amount of rotifs rotate to the left that rotate to the right. So you can see we'll start there at zero and we are going to see that we do have 17 motifs rotate in the counterclockwise direction and we have exactly 17 motifs that are going to rotate in the clockwise direction. So this is called being in beat. Clocks that are in beat and have amplitude tend to keep very good time when they are regulated. So the regulation process happens on the top of the clock at a lever. That's very easy to do. Everyone can regulate their own clock. And as you can see, if you've been counting in the background, we are exactly 17 motifs in both directions. So this is a clock that should keep very accurate time for probably the next 15 to 20 years until it needs another overhaul.